everybody hello or welcome back to my channel my name is Ruth M. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and amazing week so far yes so before we dip into today's video which will explain this I can't believe that it's halfway in October like it feels like we haven't even like really like seen a lot this year like it just feels like it's going by so fast and it still feels like it's in January and it's snowing where I live which I'm not ready we're actually getting our first store first snowstorm now and it's like under like the winter storm advisory so it's gonna be like pretty bad but i'm just like why does it have to be so soon like can it come in like you know next next month or something i'm like i'm not ready for it are any of you guys experiencing snow because i'm just like where did it come from like um uh, it started snowing today but yesterday it was 80 degrees and now it's like so cold and there's one snow i want it to be warm still but yeah um i'm curious to know if you guys have seen the new palette jeffrey's gonna be launching yes yes i finally saw it yesterday and watched that like um his youtube video on it called the palette called weirdo i was actually like i was kind of sh like surprised by like the color scheme i mean don't get me wrong i love jeffrey i love all his palettes but I don't know, it kind of feels like those colors have been in different palettes, but just like in one. Like, I love the idea and everything that he has for that palette, but I'm just like, mm. And then also the mystery boxes are coming the same Davis lunch, which they will be in the mystery boxes. So I'm kind of curious to see if you guys are thinking about buying the palette. I'm kind of, if it, if it wasn't for the mystery boxes, I'd be kind of on the iffy side just because a lot of those, like the colors that are in that palette, the pal all the palettes I own by him, like pretty much every shade is in there. So I, I probably wouldn't go for it, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on the palette. I mean, I love the idea, but I just think the palette just wouldn't personally uh, fit my style. The idea, I'm like, yeah, like maybe some styles, but if I was... 14 again I would die all over that palette don't get me wrong I love it but it just doesn't seem like a palette that I would be grabbing but the mystery boxes are coming so I know I will get my hands on that because they will be in the mystery boxes so I'd love to hear if you guys are also thinking about getting the mystery boxes you know yeah yes or no like I, I'm kind of on the fence about it just because I don't want a lot of like repeated items like last time but he did say there's going to be quite a bit exclusive, so I'm kind of curious to see what that is. I know this week, I'm just like, you know, first the mystery boxes. Well, first it was the palette, which I was like, mm, I don't know. And then the, you know, mystery boxes. I'm like, girl, I can't miss that. And for any of my gamer girls out there that like, you will know that today, Tuesday, is also the game all of us have been waiting for or maybe if you're not a gamer girl and you've had played this game and you loved it um the left for dead games does anyone remember that you know like the left for dead and then the left for dead 2 and every i that was my jam back in the day when i was in high school like that's all i played after school before school and on the weekends they are now finally coming out with the third one like because the second one launched in 2009 so we've been literally been waiting for this game let me do the math real quick because i'm kind of i'm just so excited i'm like yes 13 years waiting for this freaking game <laughs> for the third game to come out so i'm pretty excited anyways before i keep on rambling off so in today's video we are going to finally dip in to the Pricked Palette by Jeffree Star. I've been waiting for this bad boy to come. I bought it on the launch date. I kind of waited later on the day to see if I really wanted it. I was like, you know what? Yes, I'm going to get it. So later on that night, I ordered the Pricked Palette, the um, F Proof uh, Brown Mascara, which still has not shipped yet. <laughs> I'll not be testing up that product. Maybe a different time. Um, when it finally arrives, I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know, but it took a while for this bad boy to come, so we are gonna get into some swatches, talk about if I think it's 
worth the price or not because I know there are some people that are like mm, and some people are like yeah it is but I will tell you my honest opinion on this palette so yeah let's get to it all right so I got my eyebrows on and my eye base and we're gonna do two different looks with the palette so I put down tape but before I start showing off the palette um his new palette I ended up just I I decided to get one of the pretty pretty skull mirrors he had going so I got in the black and pink and this is the mirror I'm going to be using today normally I use you know my black marble one but I was like you know what I'm going to use her today and surprisingly this is how big the box came with the mirror and I was like Jesus like it's a big ass box but anyways, let's get to the star attraction, the pricked palette. So this is what she looked like when I unwrapped her. You know, obviously they do come with a little handle, so it's kind of like a mini bag, as you'd say. Like, kind of feels just like with not knowing, like, what it all looks like off the bat. But it definitely feels nice, like the material. Like, look at that. And the little you know opener right here that they have on it it's definitely different than all the other ones like i don't know if you guys can see like the opening latch but yeah that's what the package looks like very cute so let's pop her open i did want to do like a little sneak peek before i showed you guys but i was like yeah i'm probably gonna end up ruining just the packaging itself so i was like yeah i'll just wait till i see it with you guys so let's open her up and when the package packaging is off this is what she looks like on the out and on the back and it feels very nice and you can feel the pricked word like it's kind of like 3d dimensional print so you can definitely feel it and then um Kind of the barbed wire, it kind of seeks into the palette. So you can definitely feel the grooves on that. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Hopefully she's not damaged, which she's not. So right off the bat, it does come with a really, look at the protection. Nice mirror, like look at that. Like that's nice. And it's like way bigger than normal. So this is what the palette looks like. And at the end of the video, I will also do swatches. But definitely, definitely fall colors. That's for sure. And it's so pretty. So many nice shimmers. So I'm thinking on one side, we will do light. And on the other, we'll do like a more with the darker colors. So I think for this one, we are going to start out with, let's see. Let's start with Unpeeled Pleasure, which is right there. Trying to make sure the camera zooms in. And kind of, let's just bring it up so we can use every part of the brow. It's like a very nice light, um, kind of like a citrus pink, which I, I like it. I'd probably leave it on its own if I didn't have to like go anywhere like Pacific. Um, put that brush down, pick up, not too big, but let me be like a medium sized brush, just like this guy right here. And let's dip into, because I want to keep it light, um, so we're kind of more looking at the more top shades. Let's go in with Papaya Latex, which is going to be this one right here. Dip into that. And start going underneath. Oh wow, like that. 
orange is there. Like, ooh. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a neon orange. Very, very nice. Bring it this way. Yeah, this formula feels nice. And it's very, like, even with what shade was that? Um, Unpeeled Pleasure. Like, I didn't have to do too much with that. I just wanted to make sure that I got enough up there. But let's add a little bit more just to, like, smooth it out on top. All right. So, hmm, let's. Like, I don't know if my light, uh, how it kind of shows a little bit brighter on camera where it's a little bit, a little bit darker in person. Um, so maybe go ahead and add like the mysterious circumstances more on the bottom, which it's going to be right here with the hand smoking. So let's pick up the same size brush we we just use. Dip it in there a little bit because I just don't know what this color is gonna be. It looks light, but it can totally not be. Well, actually, hold on. We're gonna scratch that. We're gonna pick it up with this little brush and we the angled brush so we can create like a, a line. All right, so it's definitely an orangey color, a little bit um, darker than the um, papaya latex. So I might, I'm gonna dip into thorny a little bit because it's a little bit more brown. And then just kind of mix it in there. Dip into thorn a little bit to make it a little bit darker. And I'll show you what throne looks like here in a little bit. And then just blend it to that. I'll add that orange a little bit next to that. the papaya flex and then the shade will just add differently so thorny kind of presents um kind of like a brown in the pan but it looks a little bit um I mean, it's a little bit brown, but mysterious. Okay, so the mysterious circumstance that we first put down, it was kind of like a little bit darker than Papa Latex, so that's why I went in with Thorny, just to make it a little bit more brown, so it wouldn't look too, too much like the exact same color. And I think for the inner corner, like the inner lid we have right here, I'm going to go in with the Fashion W Word which is right on top in the middle with the little handbag and I'm gonna put it in my inner lid. So I'm just gonna grab a little brush just like this and I'm gonna dip into it and lay it down. A very, very nice, I would say very pretty and beautiful uh, shimmer citrusy <laughs> that's for sure like this simmer kind of this simmer shimmer simmer shimmer getting mixed up here um kind of reminds me more of like a summer more than fall but then also there is leaves in fall so it kind of would make sense to go with a theme of orange but yeah it's definitely nice um at first with the shimmer, once you put it down, it does show a little bit more. But once you add like a second or third um, layer with the shimmer, it does make it so that the skin doesn't like peep through. All right. So this is going to be 
the very bright look. Um, so we got a little bit of a wing just to go down to here and then it shows the shimmer. Um, kind of like our orangey neon and then a very light citrus orangey pink on top. So very, very cute. Very, ooh, like, yeah, summer, fall. Yeah, I think it was definitely a smart move for me to add thorny just to make it look not really similar. But this is the light side. So now we are going to start on our darker side, which I think I'm going to um, dip into Twisted Taste to go on the outer, which is right here with the little face mask. Right there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this brush to dip into it. Don't want to dip in it too much because I don't know what the... Ooh, okay. Oh, well. Kind of like a orangey brown, but like a dark orangey brown. Very nice. I'm not mad. It kind of reminds me of this one lipstick color my mom would always wear a lot. I know that might sound really weird and odd, but it's the truth. That's what this color kind of reminds me of. So we're going to use up a lot of the lid space. We're going to go all the way up to the brow and make sure it's very well blended. Which, this is a very, ooh, this formula is really nicely blended. Like, you don't have to put that much effort. Like, I'm not even putting that much force into um, my brush. I'm just, like, lightly, like a feather, swiping it the whole time, even on the light side. Like, it's just really fluff, like, very lightly um, texturized, like, movements to blend it. So, I think with the center right here let's see because i'm just looking around let's go into i really okay so we're gonna go into double crossed which is the scorpio right here and we are going to add just a little yeah, just a little fluffy brush dip into double crossed and we are going to go in with the crease and we'll figure out what kind of color it is it kind of looks like a brown but i could be wrong um it's not i think uh twisted taste is a little bit too dark where it's not going to pull it up so i'm actually going to dip into splice me open which is the purple on the very very bottom and i'm going to try going in with that in the crease to see if maybe that will pop up instead so we will see it's a little bit darker but it's fine it'll work so we'll go in here just to make it a little bit darker I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like right here. Like you can tell a little bit, but maybe it's just my eyes where it's like, it's just making it, it's kind of like the same color, but a little bit darker. That's what it appears, but it could just be like the eyeshadow that was down before. So I'm going to take the other end and I'm actually going to start dipping into the brush into Forge, which is the red right there kind of looks like orangish red but we will see once we pick it up and i'm gonna put it down in the inner corner and add some f blendingness with the other side Blend it right here. Add a little bit more slice of me on the brush and blend it. 
And we are going to grab another sharp edge brush and we are going to dip into Deadly Intentions, which is the black shimmer right there. And we are actually going to create a wing and the end. My wing. Whoa. That was like a nothing. <laughs> Like that came on so pigmented and bold. Okay, wow. Man, I thought this would just be like a different type of like black shimmer shade. Uh-uh, like this boy's a bold. And it kind of looks like, ah, uh, it kind of, like I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like there's like orange, like gold shimmer, like specks in there with the black. So maybe that's why, I don't know. Cause usually like the blacks, they just usually have like a silver shine to them, not like an orangey one. So that's different. And let's for this one, let's bring it all the way in the inner. So like, it can kind of be kind of like a Halloween one. Yeah, this would actually be like a really cute, like, you know, bright Halloween eyeshadow, dark Halloween eyeshadow. Like if you're wanting like a really simple look, like this would, this could be it. Bright, dark, bright, dark. Yeah, that's cute. Like it might even look different like on the camera, but like in person, it's actually like, really really cute like if you want to be like the devil or something like because i don't know who's watching this it could be someone in high school or something but like if you're like going to school to do makeup or like maybe a work costume but like work kind of theme day because i know some workplaces have like you can do like your makeup for like halloween and stuff and if you can't go like too extreme like this could be it for either side. Like, little, like, pumpkin donkey moment. But instead, of, like, add, like, a green liner. And then if you want to do something, like, you know, like, demon or, like, Satan. You want to be the devil. You can go that route. But, yeah, pretty cute. And everything blended really, really well. So, I'm actually really surprising. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face real quick and I'll be right back and then we will do some swatches. All right. So we have the rest of my face done, my hair done, and I ended up putting some of the orange on the bottom and the black on the bottom of this eye. So I think in all in all, um, yeah, this palette is definitely worth it. I was kind of, you know, kind of iffy on it a little bit because I did see some reviews that were kind of like a little bit negative on it but yeah no like this formula is probably one it, like it's I think it's way better than the pink religion and what's really nice is when I was doing the swatches and everything um that I'm going to show you when I because I did those and okay. <clears throat> which is a really plus um the formula does not stain at all. Um, I've tried some other colors on my hands, let them sit, and when I try to wipe them off, when it came off, um, you know, it did not leave any stainless. Kind of like the pink religion on some of the pinks slash purples in that palette. It does leave some staining, which I'm not really a big fan of it because, you know, I just don't want to wear like a pink eyeshadow look one day and then come to work with like stained pink eyeshadows you know what I'm saying like it's it's kind of weird when you're not wearing makeup and there's like stained where it was but yeah and I must say that the shimmers are actually the shimmer formula in this palette is probably one of my favorite it's like I mean some of this um shimmer shades and other palettes are really creamy but these ones are like creamy creamy creamier than the ones in the star ranch palette but yeah, let's go ahead and look at the shades. Um, when I'm calling off up the shades, I'll have a picture so you can see a better look, but we will go row by row. So on the first row from left to right, we are gonna have Zen, Fashion W, and Silver of Sanity, and that is in the top row. We have Cutting Edge, Vitamin C Word, 
Unpeeled Pleasure and Pulp Addiction. We have Mystery Circumstances, Papaya Latex, Orange Fatal, and Twisted Taste. Here we have Thorny, Forged, Double Crossed, and Unblunted. And on the final row, we have Glimmer of Hope, Slice Me Open, and Deadly Intentions. So yeah, definitely a very nice fall or any kind of mood of orange slash yellowish tones, that's for sure. And really nice, nice shimmers. So yeah, definitely a very nice fall or any kind of mood of orange slash yellowish tones, that's for sure. And really nice, nice shimmers. I would love to hear if you guys have ordered the palette or are you thinking about it? Do you love it if you have gotten it or do you not think it was worth the money? I'd love to hear your thoughts or if you are thinking about getting it. I would love to hear your comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.